And welcome back. Super sorry about that issue before. Obviously, the internet. So in any case, now it is time to go and hop into the final game. This is it. No better way to close this one out, this 2K series, than with a search and destroy. And uh, of course, it. it's going to heat up. It's going to be a good one, guys. Let's go ahead and jump right into the action. And uh, big shout out to you, Reflections, for radioing those last two games. And, uh, you know, interesting development here that I want to talk about. I mean, Vanquish, they're not playing on their host. They're playing on, that's why we're able to watch the game. They're, they were playing on the uh, Fuse host, right? But uh, so let's see how VQ is going to do because VQ on the host of Vanquish or VQ on the host of Fuse have lost two. And VQ opening up lovely. It couldn't even get a chance to switch it over here. Uh, let's take a look at the final kill cam. That's what that's for. Fizzer, he finds one player inside of Raid, turns around, and just keeps on shooting. Goodness gracious. He was able to close that one out against his Sorify. My, my goodness. All right, so that's that. <laughs> that's that's round one. <laughs> I, I just I just want I just want to point out, by the way, like you said, we're on Fuse's host, but this is also Fuse's best game mode. But then again, it's Raid, and we talked about this before. Raid is such a different map whenever it comes to Search and Destroy. You can't really play it like most other maps, like Standoff or Express, whenever it comes to Search and Destroy, because it's so open and just allows for different play styles. But get on board with Dito. This guy just sees a player, and that would be FaZe taking out FaZe, extending his way through money, and gets taken out, unfortunately. But Shills... At that bomb, he's going to be joined over there on that left-hand corner by John. It would look like Fizzer putting bullet, or excuse me, John putting bullets up in that top uh, laundry there. And uh, Fizzer and Shills look like they're going to be attacking it. Not spotting anybody just quite yet. Shills not planning the bomb it yet, yet either. And uh, nobody, it looks, actually, it looks like a Fuse. They're going to be attacking from mid, two down for the team of Vanquish and three up for Fuse. Let's see what's going to happen here. Yeah, they uh, are dropping back by laundry. And oh, we saw a gun battle there right by the tree as uh, John gets hit with a. Uh, that could be a box freeze on my end. It certainly seems like that. But uh, John able to follow it up, taking out Sin. Now it's going to be 2v2. And you could see that uh, VQ, they're, they're playing the hand holding game. They're playing the doubles game. That, that's what I like here. This, that's what I love. This becomes a doubles matchup, right? And essentially, it's whoever has the best chemistry. And I don't know, man. I like historifying things to think to chances just strictly because they're on defense here. But the bomb is going to go down over by the B bomb site. Bomb this could set things up lovely. Oh, Challenge John's coming by Pills. And now there's going to be one more player. There's going to be Historify, and both player. players are going to be back by Raid. This is great here for Historify as we take a look at him. We're going to find out. He does, in fact, get spotted, though. DSR is going to come out. He's going to spot a player. Does not, in fact. As, uh, only 27 seconds remaining. There he goes. Out. No, he does spot a player, though. And uh, it's going to be shows. Yeah, it shows to the right, I think. Yeah, there. Oh, almost got away from it, but he is going to be taken out. 2 0 lead now for the team of Vanquish and Fuse. Got to say, seem a bit lost right now. Uh, their strategies not really set in stone as they have been whenever we've seen them on standoff and we've seen them on express. They're not as aggressive. They don't seem as confident going into this, but it's only the second round. And mind you, this is the first time that we've seen Fuse actually be losing this early in the round. Normally, they're up 3 0 4 0 right off the bat. Yeah, I mean, Fuse, they're the kind of team that Detective comes out really objective. strong in search. And, you know, they may slow down a little bit at certain points, but for the most part, they're always, always strong. But now take a look here. Fizzer, he's going to go for that early spam right through the mid to zigzag. No one's going to be there, but there is going to be one player on the challenge. That is going to be a store fight, and he Ooh. gets taken out with that spam right through the wall there. Getting the wall bank. Playing. Bomb will be down, though. So while all that was going on, Fuse was able to set up the bomb, and now they're going to be in a great spot. Shills just could not get the read on that one. Let's see how Frizzer reacts. As they know pressure is going to be coming from open, but I'm assuming they knew that the entire time. As Ooh, oh, nice Frizzer gets picked off there. John and Dito and Shills. Last we left, John able to find one. He gets the pick. And looking around the corner, can John find anyone? He knows there's going to be someone behind him. Shot what fired. Faze able to come up big oh, with that one. Dito on by himself, fuse. and that's going to do it down, as Fuse has managed to yet. put one Step on the board. Up. Good job by Fuse, I would have to say. But uh, while wow, Vanquished, they certainly looked very strong there at first. I mean, and then they got caught completely off guard by Fuse with that plan. Yeah, they really did. And, you know, you got to give it to the guy who went over on B side. You know, it really distracted VQ just long enough for them to get that bomb plan off and get set up. So beautiful job by the team of Fuse there. And uh, really starting to, it looks like, get some legs underneath them. We're going to find out, though, as Shills, he's going to take that bomb. Fizzer, he's going to be attacking mid. It looked, actually, it looks like it could have a strong mid push. Shills, he's going to be in mid. Nay does go off. Not going to kill anybody, though. Fizzer does not get a hit marker. And shots are going to be fired. Two down. Fizzer going through. Can he get a kill? He does get, now he gets an assist. 
this. Now Fizzer, oh, I was on board with the wrong person. Fizzer blast alive, and there you go, goes down, and there's the fuse I know coming out the gate, extremely aggressive, tying up the score two two, and this is the map. This is it right here. Whoever wins it, man, they're gonna really change up some stuff whenever it comes. Well, more so fuse whenever it comes to the MOG point system. Switching sides. That's right, and now round five of play here between these two talented search, search and destroy, and destroy teams. Destroy. I'm gonna go ahead and take a look here at the attacking side and historify more importantly as we take a look Clear at the, the scoreboard objective. at the early point of this game. And you can see that Historify is struggling here, so I, he's my player to watch you. Begin to step it up because the Sorfi has been known to be that Get guy that really gets aggressive and, and, and puts the points on the board there in search and destroy for his team. And let's see, no one dead just yet. Thing two with the bomb. This is so dangerous though. Look at them. They're all pinned up in mid. You got that one guy watching flank. That's actually going to be FaZe watching over on raid side, but they've been called out. They know they're mid. And Shills, he was ready to attack in that open. Shills now, he's going to be up top better. And Fizzard now is going to attack oh, open man. now. And he could be spotted though by Historify. Bullets are going to be shot. Historify knows there's this guy over there and takes out Fizzard, but he doesn't know the guy's going to be top better. Has his back turned. Shills does not fire away though just yet. Faze on that five kill streak. Bomb has been playing. Oh, if Faze is going to spot kill. a player there. Oh, oh if Faze wow. would have gotten that kill, he could have gotten a Hellstorm. It would have been big, and he did not get it, so he did get turned on. So it's going to be a 2v3 situation. Bomb is going to be taken away. Historify runs away, and there you go. Historify getting taken out. Can Thing 2 go big? Yes, he does. Getting a nice kill. All up to John now, trying to go big here, and he gets taken out. Thing 2 going now, huge, getting a nice two-piece. 3 2 is going to be your score. Fuse now leading over Vanquish. Yeah, you can see he follows up with a one kill by Pills and anticipates that one player was going to go for the push around, but he had his teammate Sin there for backup, so... Either way, you know, he was not in the best of positions there. And Fuse, just like that, three rounds in a row, Search and they're going to be able to take the lead here. That has certainly been the story here with this 2K series. It's just been, you know, teams going up by a little bit, and then another team just answering right back multiple rounds. I mean, I could very well see this uh, matchup going to a round 11. Yeah, it definitely could go to round 11. I mean, we, it's it's definitely possible overall, but I mean, right now, wow, Shills last up now. He does got the bomb. He's got it. Oh, fires some bullets. He's going to whiff all of them and gets taken out. Thing 2 melting with the Scorpion. The Melter comes in big. 4 2 is going to be your score. Fuse. Four games in a row that they've just won, Golden Boy. And Vanquish has got to be thinking, what can we do to stop this team? Yeah, one thing you're seeing between these two squads is that Fuse has been dictating the pace here. Their fast, more blitz-focused style has certainly been benefiting them a little bit more here. And it's uh, Vanquish are trying to hang with that. And where they've been thriving has just been that, you know, very methodical breakdown of the other team. They need to, they need to get this control right back. And yeah. Fuse has just been doing such a phenomenal job of getting in the face. Not only that, look at that. They're all pinned up by the A bomb site. And Thing 2, he is going to have that bomb. That is going to oh, get planted. God. Shots are going to go down. Thing 2 is going to get taken out. That's going to leave it up to face. And, there, it and is. there you see, you saw that breakdown. They were able to just, you know, take advantage of the fact that, you know what, they're going to get foolish. They're going to push up and they're going to punish them. That is what happened. You know, use that speed and aggression against uh, Fuse. And that's what Vanquish did there. So a great it's play by them. Awesome. They're going to be able to make this one four to three finally Good putting job, one up on the board after losing the four round. straight yeah i mean all you know old tricks are old i mean you know right off the bat they went straight for a and uh vanquish you know able to pick up on that a little bit better as uh they had that one person go b he got picked off and then they all rotated over for a in which they were all able to pick off all four of them and get the bomb defusal so fizzer he's getting close to that hellstorm so be on the lookout for him actually we'll start off with fizzer as uh he's going to be rocking that m8 right off the bat we see him go mid with Shill. Shills is probably going to take that advanced position. There you go. Fizzer with his nade into kitchen. And look at the defense from Team Fuse. Four on A looking for a massive flank. Yeah, and you could just see here that, like you pointed out, that flank. They read it. They read it, too. You could see that they're responding. Yep. Dito is anticipating anyone to come through. And if they do push around, chances are they won't go through garage because that'll be a waste of time, right? So they're going to go RC out through the front. The and now here comes the RC car from uh, from FaZe. And this is interesting, right? Because it's going to tell them that, you know what? They're probably focusing a little bit on the B bomb site if they have that RC car hanging out there, as you can see at the bottom right of their screen. But here comes uh -oh, the Nate. Uh -oh. Dito's going to get the pickup on one. FaZe was able to take out Shills with that RC car. Things are starting to break down here as Vanquish are only going to have quiet. Dito and John left alive. John with the bomb in hand. One player is going to be inside of the middle. John's going to go for the press. He is going to have to drop back there as they don't have a move. And now, the, the, yeah, I would have to say that the mid is being guarded 
very fiercely. That's going to be from FaZe. They're opting for a B plant. And if you uh, think, too, as you see on your minimap, he's going to be going top laundry, but John is going to try to shut that down right now, and it is going to spot him. He does, in fact, spot him. Can't get the kill, though, just yet. Time's clicking away. He's basically forced to get this they bomb plant off, alive. but he's going to back off. He does need to stay alive, and there you go, FaZe, bringing it down. Oh, my goodness, he's going for the clutch. Oh, dude, it, it, John needs to run away right now, and... Uh, Oh, yeah, there it is. That, that was yeah. that was really close. If John would have pushed up, who round. knows what would have happened there because John could have got a two-piece. But because he wasn't aggressive there, because he did not make a move, that put them now in position to losing it. So it's going to yeah, be 5 well, I mean, it's a, it was a risky play either way. It I mean, was. you know, do, you know, damn if you do, damn if you don't, right? I mean, that's, right. that's the way that you got to look at it. And John knew, like, I need to get this plan off with the players in too a close of vicinity. Objective. I'm running out of time. I can go challenge. But if I don't get it, then they're, I'm going to feed them a kill. So there's just a lot to be had there. And, you know, of course, while it's unfortunate, I mean, at the end of the day, you got to do what you got to do. So That's now it. looking here, John is going to be my player to watch as he's currently going to be five and four. Pretty even game there. Historify stepped it up quite a bit, but phase with that early pick. You're going to see two down. John able to pick up another. And think two is able to take out Shills. That's uh -oh. going to leave it into a 3v1. Wow. And Fizzer left the game. He's already saying GG. It's over. He has no faith in his teammate to be able to come back here. John's able to pick up one. And that's going to make back. it into a 1v2. John has back. five kills here. Let's see. As the two players are going to be spread out one player is going to be top red shots exchange he can't seem to make anything happen john knows he's in a bad position and that's wow. going to do it i guess fizzer made the right call there but still not you the don't leave thing your to team do. you don't I'm... leave your team like that but it, it is what it is i mean what can you do fuse though gold boy wow fuse now they're in sixth uh, place they're in sixth place beating out phase and envy they're going to be moving down the ladder and that also is going to put envy now at risk please. Not being yeah, seated God. going into the MLG tournament. And if we're looking now at this, I, I'm looking at the overall uh, points here, and it's just absolutely insane to see all the stuff going on. Also, let me look at the bracket here. And Fuse wins the tournament. They Now, they the first two games that they had, nobody really big, okay? But then going into the semifinal round, Unite. That team was a powerhouse. They beat them in a massive comeback. And then Vanquish able to beat them in the final round of Search and Destroy. Vanquish, who obviously was a very strong team, beating out Justice as well as Strictly Business. And then right off the bat, they beat out FaZe. So, wow, great matches overall. Huge upsets. But Clever Fuse, sponsored by Ed Clever Gaming on Twitter, totally did an excellent job here and you got to give them credit yeah it was a great matchup and a great tournament there congratulations to fuse as they're going to shake up the uh pro point system quite a bit with that victory of course going into sixth place but don't worry guys there's still plenty more action to be had here on mlg.tv because you can check out pro scrims all week long you can also check out the esports report and on top of that there's going to be the 5k next sunday as well and that is going to be Im like immensely uh, immensely immense. important because yeah. You have to think about it. All four players get 5,000 points. That's 20,000 right. points. That's if, if Fuse ends up winning, and let's just say if Fuse ends up winning, they could theoretically go all the way up to second place, like or third place, right? Like Those right. are the kinds of things that you got to think about here, and that's why the pro points are so, are so important. But bear in mind, too, folks, that this is the only this is only for Black Ops 2, right? Because we are going to have our own separate pro, pro points for Ghosts. So again, while some teams may not have gotten in or you know struggled or or something like that there's still plenty more opportunities and of course you guys can check out all the tournaments to get extra points and continue to add on to that with the mlg play channel or just mlg play excuse me and uh yeah just uh, any final words from you reflections before we uh, close I, things out i gotta tell you i had a blast this 2k series was absolutely insane it was a stacked tournament right off the bat and right off the bat we saw some amazing comebacks and and really just that set the whole precedent for the tournament because the tournament was nothing but comebacks and just upsets overall so it's really refreshing to see Clever Gaming Fuse coming through big and just overall doing a great job. And yeah. I think their Twitter is uh, KG underscore Fuse. So it was a blast being on here. You guys can follow me on Twitter at Reflections underscore II. And Golden Boy, it was an honor casting with you on MLG. And I'm going to tell you, it was a really good time. Yeah, it was, it was a great time. It was a great time. All right, guys. And just want to point something out real quick. Pro Team Phase, as you guys know and love, they're 200 points behind Fuse right now. So that wow. kind of just sets the stage up. Just 200 points. That's that's literally one one tournament. That's it. You know, so uh, we'll see how all this unfolds all week long. There's so much Call of Duty to be had here on MLG.TV. Thank you so much for joining me for the production team in the back, as well as Reflections. I'm Golden Boy of TW, and we'll see you guys later.